Now, back to your turn on 1330 WEBY, Northwest Florida's talk radio. The phone lines are open, so call in and join the conversation at 623-1330. If Carl doesn't talk about it, it probably won't be talked about. Aren't you glad that he is on the air and back in the Oval Office of Gulf Coast Talk Radio? Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops, 1330 WEBY. All right, welcome back, America. Mike Shoesmith, tell us, so so today you heard some disturbing information about a possible means whereby Barack Obama might try to solve the economic crisis. Tell us what you heard on Liberal well, Talk Radio. Yeah, but before people write me off as a complete lunatic, I want you guys to consider this. While I was waiting to come on the show uh, at the uh, at the bottom of the hour, uh, they were playing the new, the WBY news feed, and one of the stories was that uh, the federal government has now decided to honor <clears throat> all of the same-sex marriages out of Utah. Yeah. Now, I want you to go back in your way back time machine, Carl. Just step in there for a second and go back with me about 30 years. Yeah. And imagine with me, somebody say to you, listen, one of these days, the federal government and even, even the ultra, ultra conservative state of Utah will one day marry same-sex couples. Yeah. You would call me crazy. Yeah, yeah, I so would have. don't call me crazy when I tell you what I'm about to tell you okay. is absolute truth. I was driving through uh, Pennsylvania today. I'm here on business, and I'm scanning the dial, listening to the, uh, to the various talk shows. I come across this conversation between these two liberal idiots. You know, having yeah. a love fest between each other. You know how it goes. I do. Uh, yeah, because it's all drama. There's no substance there. It's all drama. And these people are talking about this utopic society in which they will, uh, the, the uh, 1% gets thrown down to the ground and kicked in the head, and the 99%, they rise up. And these two guys are not just a couple of, of uh, morons talking to each other. These two guys are educated lawyers. These right. are lawyers talking this talk. Right. Now, we've, we've documented in the past how lawyers are responsible for the rise in health care costs through, through the failure to enact tort reform. I mean, these lawyers have had carte blanche over the country for the last hundred years, and uh, I think Brandon's going to get into that later on. Uh, but uh, but uh, now the lawyers, they've had the chance to, you know, suing over hot coffee uh, and the like, uh, bring the cost of insurance up to where it's at unaffordable levels to the common people, which has caused, you know, a, a, a dramatic rise in people without health care uh, insurance. And uh, so now Obama has come in on his white steed uh, to save the day. And uh, here we have these two lawyers today. Today, I'm not crazy. This really did happen. They are now talking seriously about not only a minimum wage, but a maximum wage. In other words, uh, as soon as people reach a certain point uh, in their income, uh, whatever goes over and above that is confiscated by the government uh, to, uh, you know, level out the playing field, so to speak. And uh, when Barack Obama was, and I'm speeding things up here now because I'm looking at the clock, yeah. but when Barack Obama was elected in 2008, he came into office in uh, January 2009, and in February I was listening to a panel discussion uh, between uh, – uh, on NPR, between people who were, uh, I don't know, discussing who he was going to choose to be in his cabinet. And then they were talking about the finances. What will Barack Obama do about China and the amount of money that is owed to China? And one of the panelists close to Obama in his inner circle said, listen, when you owe the bank $100,000, the bank owns you. But when you owe the bank a trillion dollars, you own the bank. Yeah, yeah. This is the attitude of perverted... the Obama administration. They own China. Yes. And... Now, now, what, now, that ought to raise some red flags to you. What else do they own? The they American own people. Too? Yes. The American people, well, that, brother, now, because we now, are imagine, debt now, slaves. Imagine, imagine this scenario with me now. When in 2008, Barack Obama was attacking George Bush, saying, look, you, it is immoral for the president to go to the Bank of China and use the Chinese credit card to fund the government. That is immoral. And that should not be happening. After he's elected, he asked the same question. He has asked the same question. His response was the short-term debt, the American debt, is not a problem in the short term. Yep. Okay? It's not a problem in the short term. What is the long-term fix, Mr. Obama? Well, listen, folks, this is simmering now. This is simmering. The, the conversation is just starting now. How are we going to fix this? A maximum wage. Everything over and above, say, I don't know. 
the, the number of $200,000 has been thrown out there, a quarter of a million dollars has been thrown out there. Obama has used that as a launching point, $200,000 yep. as a launching point. I suspect there may be an attempt to confiscate monies that are earned over and above $200,000. Yeah. And listen, who would have thought 30 years ago that the federal government would, would be approving of two men marrying each other? Hello?